Hi, boys and girls. Mr. Darcy says hello. There he is. Says hi. Hi. I'm at home with a sick child. So you can still do dictation with me. Um, so get your dry erase boards and we'll do some dictation. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so get your dry erase boards ready. You should have already watched the five-minute video from the Foundations Lady about the consonant Ellie syllable type, which is what this unit is all about. So let's start here with some sounds. So these aren't words. So I want the sound. Zol. Zol. So all I hear is a Z and an L. So in a consonant L-E syllable type, pause while you write, Zol is going to be, like I hope this is not backwards for you. Um, okay, that's C, that's the consonant, and then L-E. So you don't hear that E in there, Zol. That's all you hear, like puzzle or muzzle. Okay, let's try this one. Full. It's not the word full. It's just full, like in waffle or that's all we want to get to get waffle. Full. Pause it. It's just F L E. I don't know again if this is backwards. I apologize. Full. Okay. All right, let's try a word. I want the word. I'm going to say the word a couple of times and then pause it so you can write it. And I do want you to mark it. Okay. I'm going to tell you one of the syllables, and it's going to be the last one, <laughs> is the consonant LE syllable type. Consonant LE syllable type is always at the end of the word. It's never anywhere else in the word. So it's at the end. Okay. So first word I want you to try is... Let's do um, maple, like maple syrup. Maple, maple. Pause. Okay, hopefully you wrote it and you marked it. The word is maple, like maple syrup. And here it is. Maple. That first syllable is open with a long A. Pull. I don't hear that E, just like in a V-E. dash syllable, but I have a consonant L-E, maple. Did we get it? All right, let's try another one. Let's try one. Let's try table. Go sit at the table. Table. All right, here it is, table. Same as the last one, that first syllable is open tay and then we have bowl b l e table table all right now this one so both of these had the first syllable as an open syllable with a long vowel all right now i'm going to change it and the first syllable is not going to be open all right i want the word apple Eat a juicy apple. Try it, pause it, mark it. All right, the word is apple. This time we have a short A. We know that, right? But now we have, it's closed in by a P, so it's a closed consonant. We have to give it a bonus P. Do you know why we have to give it a bonus P? Let me tell you, um, because in this syllable, we need a consonant. L-E. This P is going to be the consonant. We can't take this P because then that A would say its name. So we have to have a P at the end of this one to make it closed. And we have to have a P here because this means there's a consonant L-E and you can't take the P away. So we have to give it a bonus P. So if the vowel is short in that first syllable, you need to give it a bonus letter to make that um, consonant L-E have a consonant in it. All right, trick it, trick it. All right, let's try another one. Let's do bubble. Same thing, bub, bull. 
bubble. Pause it. Bubble. All right, hopefully you paused it. Here it is, same as the last one. We need to have the B over here to make this closed. Otherwise, the U would say its name. So this is bub. And then this one needs a B as well because it's consonant LE. So the B is the consonant for the consonant LE. Olive stop. Nobody wants a bubble. No. It's bubble. All right. Let's try one more. And this is something Mr. Darcy loves to do. The word is cuddle. Cuddle. Pause it. Hopefully you paused it and you wrote the word cuddle, cud. Same thing here. This is closed. You need the D here to make that you say uh. Otherwise it says its name and nobody wants to coodle. No. But we still need a D here because this syllable type needs a consonant. All right. So this is cuddle. All right. I hope you're doing well today. I hope you're really good for the substitute. And I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye.